All right, we have got uh, the tiller put on now. We're gonna go ahead and drop the, the tiller in the dirt over here and uh, see if we see what this thing does with the tiller. This is probably gonna be the max load for this tractor. We're getting ready to lose a little daylight, so we're gonna have to rush through this. First, uh, this is virgin soil. I scraped the top of it off last year with a box plate. But this has never been dug into. And it's going through it. This has got a lot of clay in it, and it's going through it pretty good. Tractors just don't seem to care. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to back up and we're going to let these skids get in that soft dirt. And what that's going to do is it's going to let them cutters go all the way down as deep as they'll go. All right, we got it set all the way as low. Oh, yeah, now I can hear that on the engine. That little engine, but it's doing great. We're probably tilling right now about nine inches. And this is first time tilled soil. We got pretty that dirt look. All right, we'll go back and get us another pass. We're gonna really sink it up now. A little Coop J engine, I just can't be more happy with it. It's got a huge amount of torque. Boy, it's digging in there now. This is third pass. <coughs> We're getting down there deep now. All right, we're gonna go back through the metal again. And this should be as deep as I can possibly get it. So it's gonna be turning all that dirt, all the dirt that's already been loosened and then everything at the bottom that it gets again. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. All right. Now she's buried up now. Now the other little 25 horsepower tractor, when it would hang the dirt, it would want to push the tractor forward. This tractor is heavy enough, it doesn't do that. All right, we just finished up tilling back here. This, this ground has never been tilled before. It is, uh, I, I took the box blade and pulled the top of it off last year. So I just wanted to cut down, we're gonna cut this down further anyway, so I, it's not hurting anything by trying it here.
But this this tiller uh, on this little this little uh, T two sixty four, it just you know this is oversized tiller, twenty six horsepower. You probably should stay in that four foot range. This is five foot. And I'm telling you, it handled it great under the probably most extreme conditions that you could ever ask it to do. This is virgin clay soil, and it just went right through it. Um, and we tilled up to nine, like nine inches. You've, I felt it one or two times where it, you know, it kind of bogged just a little bit. But, you know, I just let off of going forward just a tad, and it went, and it powered right on through. Uh, another thing I noticed, with a subcompact tractor, if you try to do something like this, the tiller, as it's rotating forward, will surge the tractor forward. It'll push the tractor forward. This tractor is heavy enough that it just couldn't do that. And this tractor handled this tiller uh, really great. So uh, unless you've got some soil that's just absolutely uh, really, really hard, uh, I, you know, I can only speak for our area, but this thing handled a five-foot tiller like it's no problem whatsoever. I have no problem with recommending a five-foot tiller for this tractor. All right, we finished up here. Uh, I don't have any complaints with the tractor. I'm telling you right now, the loader is really, really strong. Uh, the power takeoff, the PTO, pulled the wood chipper through everything that I threw at it. We just put a tiller that technically is probably oversized for the, for the tractor. It didn't matter, it didn't care. I have no problem again uh, recommending a five foot tiller for this tractor. That was some extreme hard clay uh, that's never been tilled before, and it just powdered it, made it beautiful. Uh, you, could, you could plant it today. Um, ergonomically, it, you know, we, we've been out here working on it about three hours now. Um, it, everything seems to be in place. Uh, it's comfortable. I really like the fact that when you are doing things like using your uh, forks to go in and out backwards and forwards, I really like the fact that the uh, throttle goes up and down when you push the pedals forward and reverse so that you don't have to sit there and try to move the throttle by your hand. But when you're going to use like a bush hog or your tiller, you can throttle it up to wherever you want it and then still control the speed of your tractor just with the pedals. And then you, you know, it just, it, it's a really well thought out tractor. It is a perfect homeowner tractor slash 15, 20 acre, you know, it, it's that kind of tractor. It's plenty, plenty uh, big enough for that. Well, listen here. I appreciate you watching the channel. To this point, I wholeheartedly endorse this tractor. Uh, you know, it's only got a few hours on it, but everything I like, you know, feel about, feel about it right now, it, it fits. It just works. I've worked it hard. It hasn't complained, and it's done everything it's, you would you know, ask it to do. Uh, TYM's already got a really good name for longevity. So I think first impressions, it's going to be, you know, this is a good tractor for a good price. Uh, I want to also tell you, I really appreciate what you, uh, you guys watching our channel. And if you like what we do, hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and that little bell. That really helps us out and gets our channel noticed out there for everybody else. And I appreciate that. God bless and have a great day. Look here how dirty we got it. We gotta, we'll wash this thing and we'll go home. Uh.